You, 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 you. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening, good afternoon. First, like I said, hold on, give me one second. Shout out to everybody in the chat. You know, I, you know how I start off. I mean, say what's up to all you guys first before I get started. Um, give me some water. There's a few topics I'm going to talk about in today's video, but uh, give me one second. I'm going to actually see the chat so I can shout out to you guys. You know, I'll be doing when we get started. I just shout everybody in the chat first. Do me a favor again if you'd be so kind as you come in, uh, hit the like button. Let me mute myself in the back. Um, hit the like button. Like I said, we have a little, try to have a little fun today. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right. Let me go to the chat now. What's going on? Let me see what I got in there. Jason Elliott was good. Stephanie R. What's going on, baby? Can't wait for the stream. Appreciate it. Di Almighty Spartan God, what's going up? I said, hurry up, push the Z. Kagastu, hi Kagasta. I can't even pronounce their name. We gonna talk. Shout out to you, man. Uh, who else we got in here? Delano, Mitch, what's up, Mitch? Uh, Trezor, Trezor Reactor. Shout out to you, you know what I'm talking about. Neverland next. Neverland ain't got no job. Beagle Boy, what's going on? Greg Harris, what's up, baby? Griffin, my brother Griffin. You know, Griffin, you know you're my favorite white boy. My brother Griffin. Cake Batter, Jayco, Shadow. What's going on, man? And again, shout out to everybody in the chat. And again, if you guys, uh, listen, I'm going to say this right here, right? It's very important. Make sure you watch yesterday's BGST. Uh, we did our predictions and see who came the closest. My God, my God, my God. Now, listen, just in case I get snuffed out or whatever the case, or people want to go back and change what they said, I, I listen, I always tell everybody this is a drug-free environment. Anything you say can will be used against, against you in a later show. So we got to hold them. We, we, listen, we need them guys to keep their same energy. So make sure you go back and watch that uh, show. Uh, listen to, also, if you guys are, well, if you, if you didn't anything yesterday, uh, for whatever reason, my Twitter was, I don't know, hacked or banned suspended i don't even know why you know what i mean so but i have a brand new twitter um account uh this is the link here uh, if you're not following me on twitter please do so so this is important like i said you guys come in because i can't really i don't really have that many followers on twitter yet really like share it and reach out and so you guys come in you'd be so kind again like i said to um uh to share it on twitter so i can hear myself yeah, I can hear myself. I can hear myself. So, again, what's up to everybody in the chat, man? Everybody in the chat, my man. Renz, what's going on, Renz? Renz, where nigga? Craig Harris, what's up, baby? Tim Malls, we got to hook up with two, uh, Craig. Do a little work together, man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Now, a few stories have broke out. Jaco, I can't even pronounce your last name, Jaco, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, looking being on that point lately. Um, there are a few things I want to talk about in this city. And I guess it's easy for me to do them like this. And just do one and milk it out. I just do one big video. Maybe I need to find a, a name for it when I just put a whole bunch of topics in one video. But a few things that I want to talk about in this video. I got the Red Dead Redemption 2. Fans are outraged about you know them keeping special modes behind. Uh the special edition. We're gonna talk about that. Sodi's getting their E3 kicked off starting this Wednesday. And um, I really want to talk about that. Uh right, I'm sorry, Microsoft reportedly pulled the trigger on playground games. I want to talk about that. Three new Gears of War games, more or less, has been confirmed. We're going to talk about that. Um, what else? Xbox One X got a price cut. We can talk about that. A few things. We're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. My man Paul, J Love. There's a few things I, I, I want to talk about. Shadow of the Ghost. What's going on, baby? Cake Batter. I think I shot out everybody that I see in the chat. Like I said, it's again. They got your boy in Twitter jail. I don't even know this. Time. I don't even know why. Again, this is my um, new Twitter handle, so please follow me. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, D.I. Almighty Spartan God, we know you weird. You wear Pumas with no shoestrings, country in this thing. But anyway, again, shout out to everybody in the chat. So um, uh, what you guys want to talk about first? Um, oh, here's a shameless plug, too. Yo, Detroit, become human. 
for shout out to you guys been rocking out with me in the live streams at night when I'll be doing my live streams. Um I've been playing I played, you know, I play, you know, from start to beginning. I shared it with you guys you know, on Twitch. I'll leave the link here. I had to go back and start over. I I the last chapter, more last, I had to stop the last. I just I had to pull the power on it because I got people killed. My I'm gonna say this, right? Real talk, right? I've never been that that emotionally invested into a game or to any characters in the game ever in my life. Never. Of course, we all play games from games have a dope story, ill story, fine. But when I say I've never been that emotionally invested into a game in my life, it just come another support that I said just coming from a guy that doesn't like telltale games. I, I'm like, that's not really my thing. You know what I mean? Telltale games and, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but they did an amazing job in, at uh, mixing it between dialogue, actually, I guess, you know, gameplay and telling the story. The voice acting is top notch. You know, the level of detail. Listen, I want to say this too, right? Real talk. You know, we always talk about the best graphics that we had this generation. I'm going to say this again. I think Detroit, not, I used to say God of War. I think Detroit Become Human is the best looking game graphically this generation. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't have a problem with saying it. I, I really mean, believe that wholeheartedly that this is probably the best looking game that we've had this generation, man. You know what I mean? It looks that good. Like, it's crazy. Like it's, uh, and, and again, I, I know, but you know, I'm a shallow man. The game is good. And I don't know what it received on Metacritic or uh, Metacritic, whatever you call it. But again, the game, I'm loving it. I said, I'm loving it. And again, shout out to my brother, Vicious Lords, uh, who, who gifted me the game. Uh, listen, I want to say, honestly, again, this might be the best game. I won't say the best game, but I don't know. I don't know. That I played this generation. Like, I'm having that much. I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know if because I'm streaming it. I've never streamed a game from start to finish, like live streamed it before. So I, I was able to experience it with, you know, the people watching me. We can interact and choose this, choose that. So maybe that's why I'm enjoying it so much more. But man, I ain't lying, Jack. That's a hell of a game. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what it received on Metacritic or uh, whether it's 80 or 79. I'm digging that there, man. You know what I mean? I'm loving it, you know? So let me go back to the chat. So anyway, um, again, shout out to everybody just now joining. Uh, polls. Again, D, what's up, D? Roscoe, th throw a white boy thoughts, my dude. I take that back, Griffin. Uh, throw my favorite white boy. You're my second favorite white boy. Well, shout out to Thor. Kevin Garcia, you know he ain't got no job. He's going to be here. Joe Vargas, what's good, baby? So yeah. So anyway, um, let's talk about Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, King, King, King Martin might take the year over Red Dead. Okay, well, you we'll talk about Red Dead. Okay, Red Dead Redemption 2. Okay. Uh, gamers are upset. Let me share my screen with you, and I'm going to get you guys' opinion about this, okay? Um, when it comes to, I say, uh, games as a service, games that that you are, that they keep you, like you say, playing into, paying into, you know what I mean, after the game release. Because we got the, the thing that came out from Matt Booty, of Microsoft, so it's kind of hard for a developer to make a game, a single player game, story driven game, triple A game, without, oh, I guess, ways of saying to add uh, content on it that's going to keep you paying into it two to three years from now. And when it comes to that, I say right now that Rockstar has mastered that there, right there. Think about how, how this game has evolved. Just what does Grand Theft Auto? Or what does it take if they make Grand Theft Auto and they make Red Dead Redemption? Right. Look how this game has evolved. When you have Red Dead Redemption, right? Uh, or Grand Theft Auto. When you know, you know, you play Grand Theft Auto. You know the story, the over the top. You know, riding around, this joy riding, killing the the pedestrians, going on cop chases. That game has evolved to online shark cards, and they're making a killing. We talk about again a billion dollar franchise. Outside that game has been so successful. On what the online pay, I say games places a service that we probably won't get another Grand Theft Auto game to the next generation. Just think about that, you know, or it may come out right when this generation is about to end on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Then they're gonna re re release it again on the PS5 on the Xbox One. And that's what we're gonna have for that whole generation because again, they keep us coming back when I not when I was but gamers coming back and paying into the game. You know what I mean? People have been complaining about the shark cards, this that, and the other, and 
I haven't really never really heard Rockstar get much backlash. You know, whether EA get you know, hella backlash with Ubisoft, Activision. Rockstar has kind of kept their, their hands clean. But right now, gamers are upset. They're they're pissed off. So yesterday, my I'm sorry, not Microsoft, Rockstar showed off their the additions, the special editions, this and the other. And then one was a hundred dollars. And with the hundred dollar version, they come with no game. Um, and and no fact, I didn't like that. It was the red Dead redemption two box. I didn't like it, kind of cheesy. You know, I like the Lord, I like I like collector collector's editions, but I like the figurines, the action figures. That was just a bunch of box with a bunch of junk scarves and handkerchiefs. So I don't leave, so no, I'm not buying that. I mean, but if we had a cool figurine, I know I would have bought it. Now, with that being said, so it says in Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, Bank Robbie and Gang Hideout is one so actually makes it a little small, so I can see it on my end. That means really, really zoomed in. There we go. Uh, I'm sorry. Red Dead Redemption 2, Bank Robbie and uh, Gang Hideout only available in the special edition. So Rockstar has clarified that the Bank Robbie and Gang Hideout is, is content is only available in the Red Dead Redemption, I'm sorry, Red Dead Redemption 2 special edition. Following yesterday's reveal of the Red Dead uh, Redemption editions, I think there's probably a picture of it here. Yeah, this is the loot box here. Um, collector's box, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a bunch of trash. I don't want that. Yeah. But they, had, they had a cool figurine in there. I'd have been all about it, but nah. But anyway, but here's, here's the crazy. This is how to get you, right? To get those, like this was, this was called my anti-consumerism at its finest, right? What ruined Star Wars Battlefront 2 was EA being greedy and gamers band together and voice their opinion with their wallet. And we see heavy backlash. And right now, and I'm seeing, I'm reading the comments. You know what I mean, now if you want to play these two modes, these two missions, probably maybe the best missions on the game, you're going to have to buy this $100 special edition box, right? Which doesn't come with the game. It's just going to come with these two modes. There's locked behind this right here. No game, but you get these two modes, you're gonna have to buy this. And then on top of buying this, you're still gonna have to spend shout out $65 for the game. Now, if that's not anti-consumerism to the finest, go damn. Bank Robbie missions, gang hot out. You know what I mean? Like this is crazy. And jokers are upset. Now, listen again, this is a very cheesy, cheesy collector's box. I can see if it had a nice figurine, a statue in there, but it's a bunch of shit. A puzzle, come on, a map. Some fucking cards. I like that red bandana. But you know what I mean? But again, a bunch of junk, which we know is not worth a hundred dollars, nowhere near a hundred dollars, right? But they're gonna put the two special modes that most of everybody's gonna play, you know. Bank Robbie misses and gang house behind this box here, and gamers are upset. They're upset, you know what I mean? As they should be, you know what I mean? I'll read some of the comments. And so you either got until you launch to fix this. Now, like, what do you guys think? You know what I mean? Now, I you know here's the thing. Now, I've I've always kind of said walk the 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 middle line here when it comes to you know paid DLC. Long as it doesn't affect the game and it was optional, cool. You know what I mean? But I think what they're doing with this is very very shitty. You're charging you're charging a hundred dollars basically for two missions. With a bunch of shit that bosses nobody really wants. You know what I mean? It's not even a cool statue. And on top of that, when you buy that house, you're still gonna have to buy the goddamn game. You're still gonna have to buy the game. That's what you call it. Y'all did for nothing. You're still gonna have to buy the game. You know what I mean? You're still gonna have to buy the game. Now, look, know what I mean? At the end of the day, like, 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 I don't know. Here's the thing. At the end, of, if, if, how you think? If you want things to change. You, you wrote with your wallet. People are still gonna go about there and, and, and oh, do you see what happened? You know, uh, people are probably gonna still go out and buy the game because it's, it's a people waiting for Red Dead for a very, very long time, very long time. And I think they're using the popularity of the game to get away with this. You know what I mean? Let me get deep. You know what I mean, hold on, do you see what happened here? But this is a very, very shitty thing for them to do. You know what I mean? Very, very shitty. You know. Hold up. Paul said, at least you get a real physical loot box. Not a deal. I hope, please tell me that you, you're joking. Please tell me. Hey, yo, this is worse than EA. You know what I mean? They put two missions behind the thing. They not even giving you a cool game. But these two missions, then you still got to go out and buy the game? Like, that's crazy. That's sheer lunacy. 
What's up? Do you in here, baby? Yeah, I'm here, man. What's going on, good brother? I didn't see you get what happened. What's going on? What do you think about this whole Red Dead thing in the loot box? I mean, not the loot box. It was two missions that there you have to buy this hundred dollars edition. You know what I mean to play these two thing missions, which are going to be probably hugely popular. It doesn't even come with a game. You still have to buy the game. What do you think about that? Yeah, you know, this is Rockstar getting overly cocky because Grand Theft Auto, you know, it did extremely well. You know, Red Redemption, the first one did extremely well. Everyone's been clamoring for the next Rockstar game, and this is them taking advantage of that. And unfortunately, if gamers don't speak with their wallet and not pre-order this game or, or cancel their pre-orders for this game, um, they're going to get away with it. You know, gamers have to voice their opinion. If they're not happy with it, they need to speak up and say they're not happy with it in order for Rockstar to uh, change this. I don't know why they would do such a thing because in all honesty, the game is going to sell well anyways. The, the game is going to sell like gangbusters. Why would they do that, D? It's more money, baby. I mean, that's the... the it's greed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think we like, talked if about you this. Have, if you have 100 million, mm -hmm. but that extra 10 million, you got to kill some poor little babies you know what i'm saying is that 10 million worth it no it's not keep the 100 million but again it's nothing like more money more money now again i'm already seeing some of the comments here some people saying they're fine with that loans i bought it and again it comes down to he's said right now they're crazy because people have been waiting for this game for such a very long time guys let me if you come in you please again hit the like button go through your boys in twitter jail so i can't really shout out to everybody so if you can reach the con uh, even if you hate me, you think Mr. Dog should show. But you know, you guys like to cut up in the chat. So hit the like button so you get some, you know, people that you may not like to come in. And you guys can fuss in the chat. It's a win win situation. Hit the like button. Now, here's the thing again, right? Let me say this, right? Um, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, what about this? When it comes to, uh, he say, uh, bad business practices, I've seen Ubisoft getting heated about it. We've all, EA getting heated about it. We've seen um, EA. We've seen. Uh, Activision, especially Activision, they're a repeat yeah. offender. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, and even EA, you seen what happened with um, you know what happened with, with uh, yeah, with, with Star Wars. You know what I mean? I've never seen, um, I've never seen like or heard about Rockstar really getting a big pushback, public pushback. You know what I mean? People, you know, completely like I'll give you an example. Garrett, uh, Shark the King, but he was talking about those shark cards. He thought, but he always bought the shark cards, whatever the case may be. People would still play, but now I'm actually saying people that are actually upset because here's the thing you got a very, very shitty collector's edition, right? Now, if those know I like the little gadgets and stuff, doesn't even, doesn't even come with a game for $100, right? So, even with that $100, you still got to go out and spend $65, right? And on top of those to get the game, you know what I mean? And which those games, those missions are going to probably be really, really popular, you know what I mean? Like, that's really shitty, very, very shitty, Maybe. you know what I mean? Ray, 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 shitty. You know what I mean? I, I guess they, I, I guess developers can do. They can push it just to see how much more they can get away with. You know what I mean? People, I mean, you think people are gonna finally stand up and say, "Hey, enough is enough," or being red dead, being red dead, and rocks they gonna say, "You know what? Fuck it. It is what it is." I'm gonna go out there and spend that hundred dollars and for these two missions. Like, what do you think? Hey, if it, if if it's something that's like say two weeks or or it's gonna last three weeks long, and everybody else can you know get it through DLC or or pay for it. I'm okay with that, you know. And then, hey, if they want to get a couple of suckers along the way, that's fine. But something that's going to be left out of the game for a, a long period of time and especially for that amount, I I, I don't know, man. Uh, my man Paul says Zaire and Stream, you waited 8 years for Red Dead Redemption 2. Wait a little longer by the game of the year to get all the content. Here's the thing. What's up Playboy Playboy? Um here's the thing. Uh Von Lamont was my brother there, Von Lamont. Um, here's the thing, and again, it's not about because I've never uh I understand like it's important. Here's my disclaimer. I've never been a huge rock uh red dead fan, or even Grand Theft. I've said that numerous times here. You know, I mean I'm gonna get it, stream it, have fun with you guys playing it, you know what I mean? But I'm just looking at the overall for gaming as a like I say for doing it for the culture. I think this sets a bad bad precedent. You know what I mean that and I'm not one that, you know, that uh, uh, a guy that's tight, that complains about everything, loot box and great. I just think this is them being very, very, very shitty to their fans. You know what I mean? More or less those guys that are huge fans of the Red Dead Redemption series. Like, Red Dead is huge. You know what I mean? Like, that's, I I, I would, I think Red Dead probably will rival Call of Duty, may outsell Call of Duty this year. You know what I mean? That's how huge Red Dead is. So people, how long people have been waiting for it, right? Uh, with that being said, for them to do this again, to 
this was two missions. They're going to probably be insanely popular. They're going to put those two missions behind a hundred dollar special edition, right? That's crazy. That's not in, even including the game. Yeah, that's the part that's crazy. The game is not included. What the fuck? Not even including the game. You know what I mean? Now that's what I think is totally wrong. You know what I mean? And it's a very shitty collection edition that I may add. You know what I mean? With that so, as it comes down to you, you get a, you know is um. Put your foot down, morality. You know what I mean? Hey, we got Black Bear. He said, Rockstar, hey, bro, you went out there and bought a Switch, bro. You need to sell. We're going to pay your phone bill to play online. I'm going to hear about anti because we're going to start your shit, man. But again, I just think that's pushing it too far. Like, too goddamn far. You know, I've been gaming, you know, for a long time. You know what I mean? And normally when I, you know, I'm just coming from when you bought a game, whether a cartridge or whatever, everything you wanted was there on the disc. And I remember they started with the whole DLC a little bit during the sixth generation with the original xbox i remember i one of the missions that i had to download from xbox live which was new to me when i was excited it was a mission for uh splinter cell you know what i mean that was one of the things i mean and uh that was just new then you like you said and it was optional but now they're like you say either played away or putting whole modes of a game behind a paywall that you had to buy a, a hundred dollar special edition that's a little that's going too far uh, shout out to Floyd Mayweather. Uh, always get a pass. Or Rockstar always gets a pass. Too cocky. Shout out to the money team. And again, so yeah, it, it, it is. Like, that's going too far. Too far, too far, too far. You know what I mean? Blackbeard was good. Uh, you still there, D? Yeah, I'm here, man. Okay. Now, okay, moving right along. But again, I think gamers, whether, you know, I don't know, it ain't coming to the Switch, but I, put your <laughs> personal uh, preference aside of what console you're rooting for. We're just talking about better working. I think gamers need to band together. And give Rockstar the big, you know, middle finger. Like they, they, they really tripping with that. Really, really tripping. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. That's just my opinion. You know, there's some guys out there, or you have been waiting for this game for a long time. Well, you ain't got to buy. You always gonna find that. Well, you won't have to buy it. But this is like, like, I say, we think about for humanity right here. Could they get away with this? No one telling what else they're gonna do. Like I think this is really wrong. You know what I mean? I also uh, tell you, you, know, you, you a sucker if you buy that hundred dollar edition of the game and it doesn't come with the game. Seriously, uh, uh, sucker. Uh, he said, "Here, yeah, oh, so he said, Zaire, do you think the reason why we're not getting a copy of the game in the best Red Dead Redemption Two collector's box is because they're trying to end these kind of bundles because of digital gaming?" No, I think they're doing it because they're extremely greedy, and greedy. they can. You know what I mean? Uh, and because and, and they can, and again, it's a a, a a a very very popular IP. People have been waiting for Red Dead for how long? You know what I mean? Years. And the fact that the popularity of the game that people that they can get away with this. That's the reason why they're doing it. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, moving right along. Again, um, rumor has it more or less from that Microsoft has pulled the trick and, and acquired playground games. What do you think about that? What are your thoughts? Yo, that's that's sick, man. Uh, first of all, I hope that they learn from what Sony's over there doing with their developers and let these guys branch out and not just make racing games because they're a talented, talented studio. Of course, I still want them to develop, you know, Forza Horizon series. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, continue to make that. Don't stop making it. But have some other people in your um, group there make some different type of games because they're obviously a very, very talented group of people. Yeah. Um, hold on. Post will hop in too. Let me turn this into the whole show. Here you go, Post. Uh, one second, Mister. Let's talk about it. Yeah, hold on one second. Oh, suppose here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So you know what? Here's the thing, right? Um, uh, it was rumored for a while, right? And I always go back to what I was saying. You'd be surprised of, and and it's, when it's, it's important that I because I got I do got some new people that watch my channel, but it's important that I say this in content. That you'd be surprised to watch your channel, the X, Y, and Z, right? Or you're watching your videos or whatever, right? Um, and I remember last year I came up. It was last year, and it was I came up with would you see Halo direct? You know, you know, talking about a three four three make outside of Halo when the Coalition make outside of Gears or Turn Ten make outside of um car games, right? I and remember I was against you for that one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, you were against me instead. I, so, I was with you, brother. <laughs> oh, it was with me. Okay, whatever the case. I forget. I understood me. So anyway, um, and I said, in respect, I said, you know, um, this for like, like, like one of the guys always told me I didn't go to school to put myself hundred thousand dollars in debt just to make car games. And and I gave an example, right? Uh, one of the best racers, believe it or not, for the NES, talking back in the day, 
was RC Proham. Oh man. And you know who made that game? It was rare. You know what I mean? And when you think of rare, they also made Killer Instinct, Golden Eye, and you know, a bunch of other Donkey Kong games made a different battle tools, they made a different type of game. I'm just giving you an example, right? So even though, like I said, you may just know them for that, that's not all that they can do. So rumors came out again that um Playground Games, they, they expanded their studios because Forza Horizon 3 was hugely successful for them, which, you know, great game, you know what I mean? Uh, probably the best racer, game, racer that came out this generation, I, I would say, Forza Horizon 3, right? Um, and they was, they was working on a, on a uh, RPG, you know what I mean? Multi, uh, you know what I mean? RPG, you know what I mean? Uh, you are, but did they have like a big listing for that? Uh, for for uh, job applications and did whatever, they, yeah, 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 yeah. And I heard they got some people from Rockstar, like they got some big developers. Yeah, to jump they were in. they were they were hiring for expansion of their new studio, very talented group. You know what I mean? And again, like I said, they were making they're making a, a massive or open world art, but whatever they were making, both of something that was made multi plat. And I was again like two years ago, I said Microsoft needs to buy Playground Games. What are they doing? I've been saying this forever. Like, what are they doing? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I you know like you know like you know like uh, what do you call it? Like Naughty Dog does before Microsoft. I'm sorry. Like how you say Insomniac does the Ratchet and Clank series. Yeah. Uh, and Sony didn't actually know own them. And Microsoft gets Sony Microsoft at the time doesn't have many studios. Like what are you doing? You guys need to acquire Playground Games. I've been saying this for like two years now. Rumor has it again that they pulled the trigger and acquired them. But here's my only fear is that again, uh, one thing about developers or whatever they are artists. Is this a business? And you can't stifle their they are to let them go out there and produce and create games. You know what I mean? I hope they just doesn't buy them and just like, hey, you guys are just gonna make Force and Horizon game. I hope that's not the case because I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes Microsoft can be the death of developers. You seen what the hell happened to to Lionhead Studios? You seen what the hell happened to Bungie or you know a couple other studios that they have closed down since then? I hope that they do. If the rumor is true that they did acquire them is to let them be great and go out there and create. Like, what are your thoughts? Hello. Oh, well, well, I mean myself. But anyway, he's not here yet. But anyway, my thoughts in the chat. Like, what are you guys thoughts? He's back to talking in the background. You know what I mean? Like, what are your thoughts? Kobe, what's up, Kobe? I hope, like I said, they, they are acquiring them. Hey, Post, I sent you the link too, good brother. Uh, if they are acquiring them, the rumor, I just hope them, like I said, they don't kill them. You know what I mean? And let them be great. You know what I mean? Let them go out there and create. You bring your own Android box so this you know, to He says playground will be shut down in five years. Nah, 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 nah. I listen, I'm not even I'm not, Marcel's I was good, baby. I'm not even big in erasers, right? And I give credit where credit is due. Uh Forza is top of the game right now. Where you've seen Gran Turismo's kind of, you know, taking a dip. And it's real, I, I'm not knocking those guys that made like Gran Turismo, but uh, right now, Forza is that's the only franchise that Microsoft exclusive about that has gone up. Everything, whether Gears and Halo has went down, it's, you know, stock, prestige, and value. Forza has gone up, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's just the fact. But like I said, Forza Horizon 3, especially if you guys. What they did with the Hot Wheels pack was awesome, but again, I just hope they let them. Yeah, Hot Wheels pack was dope. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe like I said, I was saying, you know, y'all need to take your business in the background. Uh, like, what do you think? Because I hope they don't stifle them and let them flourish and be great. Like, someone leaves because I say this going about Microsoft track record and what they've been with studios in the past. You know, what I mean, I hope again they just let them go out there and create and just don't let, make you no know, sticking with like I said, what doing what works for them. Force and Horizon. You know, what I mean, like I think they're supposed to be working on the next rumor have the next Fable game. Like, what do you, yeah, like, that's, what are your thoughts, stuff? You know what? I, I hope Microsoft learns from their mistakes because you know they they kept Rare for so so long doing you know these hey, stupid oh. Connect games. Yo, yeah, and, right, yeah, 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 yeah. And and okay, see if uh, see if these is is okay for some people. Don't start I, your I, I said, shit. Don't start your shit. Like I like I said, I can only play it for an hour at a time, and after that, I'm I'm sick of it. That's my opinion on the game. But nonetheless, you know, it's it's a start for them. But because they've been stifled for so long, maybe they need to get their creative juices flowing again. So you know, hopefully, see if these will set them on the right path to making better and greater games. Now, I I, I hope they look at what Sony's doing over there with their developers. And you know, Sony's laying down the blueprint. You know, let these guys branch off, let them do some other stuff, 
take some risks. You got very, very talented people over there. I'm sure they have a great imagination and I'm sure they'd like to venture in other games apart from racing. I'm sure they would like to keep doing the racing games because they're one of the best at doing it, but I'm sure they want to venture out and do some action games, who knows, some RPGs. Maybe even they want to take a dab at, at sports. Let them be free. You know, don't, don't stifle their creative juices, their creative flow. Hold on one second. Let me pay the bills right quick. Shout out to my brother, uh, Von Lamont. I think Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be announced at Sony's press conference with Fredos and Atreus as playable char characters when you pre order the play on the place before. Cool. Uh, here's the thing only thing about that, Von Lamont, and which I think was suck. Sony had in their contract or whatever when they uh, I forgot when Mortal Kombat there was nine or eight when uh, got uh, uh when Kratos was in uh, got, uh, Mortal Kombat that he could be he, he couldn't uh be uh, a fatality he couldn't be he couldn't be killed more or less i mean if they are going to put him in the game let him be you know be if he's going to be killed be killed whatever the case may be let him go out there and i mean and be dogged out if that's the case but again it's dope most likely with mortal Kombat 11 11 i'm going to buy it on both platforms the xbox and the playstation 4 uh baron said here go baron in the comments second being very dishonest he said <laughs> pause and horizon or forza wasn't the best race of this generation i know he's gonna probably see you know, yeah, what, like, then what was, buddy? What was? Yes. What was the was better game? Racing. Kart. Oh, you know, Mario Kart. Oh, Mario Kart. Oh, gosh. My man, Aaron 17 says, Subs, you're one of my favorite streamers, dude. Keep up the great work. Listen, man, real nigga to a fuck nigga like yourself. I appreciate that. You was <laughs> in my live stream and, and with me twitching. Listen, you guys got to listen. I take the same energy. If you guys love my show, I take the same energy we over to my live streams, you know what I mean, when I'm actually playing, you know, and this, again, this is new to me, what I'm doing, I've never played the game from start to finish, and I shared it with the audience, like, you know what I mean, like, I'm really, like, getting into the streaming thing, and I, that's a whole new different world for me, like, you know what I mean, I am know I'm a little late to the dance, I'm late to the ball, but I'm loving it, like, you know what I mean, my, you know, my crowds, I don't know, I I think I'll be having, like, 40, 50 people in there sometime, 30, oh, small, but again, it's totally new, I'm, and I gotta grow the audience like I've grown here. Uh, but I'm enjoying it, man. Like I said, if you're not following me on Twitch, um, I got to go to the hospital to finish the show here, but I'll be right back. Uh, if they don't keep my black ass. Um, but here, here's the link here. Yeah. Ain't about nothing, man. You know, I'm a raindrop to a river BI. I'm hoping you're going to bitch check in and check out. Um, but that's the link right there to my live stream. Like I said, follow it. It is what it is. But they do keep me. I'm taking my look. I was double I found my old laptop. I got this. I got my, I got my hot spot. Take my mic. I uh, will be, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I had Wi Fi in my, in my hospital room last time, it was shitty, but I got my Wi Fi booster and I got my headset. I will be live streaming right there for my deathbed. Tell you, I got two days to live. Fuck nigga shit. But anyway, yeah. So, anyway, as I was saying, as we were saying, posted he was coming here. What the hell happened? But uh, again, um, uh, I, again, I, if they do, like I said, buy them or they, if the rumor is to be true, uh, let them go out there and be great. And again, one of the things that Microsoft is lacking or it's uh, a device a diverse lineup of games you know what i mean you yeah. when, when you think of and here's the problem that you guys argue me down with not saying you when you think of 343 you just think of halo or if you think of coalition now you just think of gears but when you think of naughty dog you're thinking the last of us you think of uh uh uncharted they also have been green lighted to make another third person action adventure game no telling what that outside of uncharted and the last of us you know what i mean and again i just want you know same thing uh, uh again with microsoft what you take the let's just say take three four three with a massive studio about 600 people last time i heard working there or damn near more than that it triples the the number of staff there at naughty dog let them go out there and create and for the for the record like i said they took 10 people from the uncharted team and started them to work on the last of us and it can be arguably be said especially back then that the last of us two was a bigger franchise a big especially on the ps3 than uh the uncharted series so that's all that i'm saying but this is like i said good news for them also too i know i don't have you much longer before you got to go uh more or less more or less confirm uh that we are getting they saying halo infinity a new halo game what that will be i don't know uh but like we may see something called halo did infinity did this just come out I, I missed that one oh yeah 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 i know some people that know some people i believe let me that i was kind of half high and half well let me make sure let me check make sure but i believe it's halo infinity um uh, rumor uh that the new halo game it's halo infinity uh and also three new gears of war games one's gonna be an rts one's gonna be a traditional gears oh, five and one's gonna be a battle royale type game you know what i mean 
Like, why is it three games? Like, why would you not just put the battle royal into into um into the Gears Five? Why would you I, um, need a different one? Just add a different mode to it. That's kind of milking a little bit. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, unless it's a free to play or something. Um, I most likely I don't know. I I, I don't know. I guess we will see more. Uh, I guess as far as the RTS, they're gonna use it because of the name Gears, and you know, so because oh, I don't really care for RTSs, but maybe it may be just a total. Besides it being a battle royale, maybe it's just a totally different type of game and experience. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe because yeah, maybe yeah, you got to give it a chance. That the, I ain't feeling that RTS though. I got to be honest. I'm not into RTSs. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not I'm like I, I game on PC, and that's just that's that's a little two point dexterity for me, man. Like, <laughs> you know, that's just that's just too much. Yeah, a new Halo game in E3, possibly called Halo Infinity. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Halo Infinity, you know what I mean, in three years games, you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> I, I I did a video today on some of these leaks. Yeah, from, like, see, Sony yeah talk about it. Yes, and um, you know the, the 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 Sony list, you know, if that's if that's a real list, it's pretty amazing. And now, which list is this? I, which list is this? Uh, with with one? with uh, the, the list I did on the air yesterday with Bloodborne, uh, Ghost okay. of Tsushima, Death Huge. Stranding. PlayStation mm. Party, Spyro, mm. Spider Man having a PSVR mode, Shamoon, mm. Resident Evil. There's like a ton of t- titles, and of course, the big one is like SOCOM Coalition. Coalition. Mm. That that's 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 huge too. And you know, when I was reporting on the Microsoft side, you know, it was really scarce. You know, it was like, yeah, we're gonna get Ori and the Blind Wiss. You know, <laughs> we're gonna get some uh, Gears. You know, we're gonna get some Forza. And you know we're gonna get some um, crackdown, you know. And it's like these are titles that we we know about, you know, that w- we have enough information on. Yeah, of course I want to see the crackdown multiplayer and whatnot, but I, I want to see something new, something something fresh, something that 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 excites me. And if I'm gonna be completely honest, you know, I'm not saying Microsoft is done. I'm sure they're gonna surprise us, and I, I hope they surprise us. But just on what's leaked so far, you know, the uh-huh. PlayStation side looks a lot more appealing. You know, I want to see what. Ghost to Tsushima looks like with the gameplay, you know. Okay, uh, all right. I want to see this PSVR Spider Man mode, and I definitely want to see what what they're cooking up with SOCOM and this Bioshock. What the fuck? This a Bioshock game coming and it's gonna have PSVR mode. You know, if these if these are true, this these are intriguing fucking things. Yeah, uh, here's the thing, right? Um, and listen now, now listen, I listen now. You're away from that cult of BGST, right? This guy's right. And uh, again. Stop it. <laughs> to be honest, we not got a full fuck nigga, right? I ain't got friend no fault, right? And we did our wish list. Now, listen, I, and it's okay to prefer one. I, one, one, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Um, and we're talking about the two hours. And again, um, and I'm not just when you got to go to something, you got to go. You just leave, right? But we're talking about the two hours of Microsoft having a two hour show, right? Now you see what Sony came out today or yesterday. And I, and I said, they, they sent it to me in my inbox. Shout out to all Daniels guys. But I said, you know, I was going to make a, a separate video about this today. And you know, a few other things came out. It says that uh, PlayStation Countdown to E3 begins uh, uh, this Wednesday, June 6th, right? Let me share my screen with you. And this is what I'm talking about, where I don't know who was make the decision making over there at Microsoft. Some things are just a no brainer, right? And this is what they're doing. And with something I've always said, now they got two hours, right? Here's the thing they got two hours show. Now, you know, we're not getting triple A games for two hours, right? And then, about, you know, how I feel about the indies. You got a pre E show, you got an after E3 show. But what Sony's doing, right? They're announcing, it said announcing a new PS4 game with PSVR support. Most likely it won't be a big title. Uh, release date for upcoming Worldwide Studio and stuff like They're making these smaller announcements prior to the show. And that's fine. So they got four big announcements, little announcements. Before the show, get this shit out the way. So they're already coming off with, with the news. And this is what Microsoft should be doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and little things like that. And again, announcing a new PlayStation VR game. Cool. You know what I mean? Not really meant for the big stage. Probably doesn't show up. Because again, you know, I, I haven't yet to try VR. If I, can, if I, can, I can't oh, afford to really get one. Oh, Who knows? But, um, but it, you know, but they're making the announcement before the show, after the show, and this was exactly what I'm talking about. I think this is dope, and this is what I'm talking about. When Microsoft has been not really being counter reactive, like just, just I honestly at this point, I just think Sony knows better what the game or knows the video game business better. Than yeah, 
I, I, I gotta say, this is like something good to get your your base and and the casuals involved, you know, leading up to E three. So when E three comes along, you got you know you you got some more people because you know you're doing some advertising out there. You're trying to draw them in, let them be aware of E three because the hardcore pretty much know what E three is. Uh, some casuals do through like different media outlets, but you gotta go out there and like fish people too, so they can see you know what you're bringing to on your platform, right? So it's a good way and get these little announcements out the way, so you can come with the fire. That's what. Saying. Have I not been asking for this for how long? You got, you know what I mean? And again, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You got one company, again, that stays on Twitter, stays between this person, this, that, and the other, right? And you got another company that don't say shit, but give their fans exactly what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like I just said, you know, sorry, you know, I don't really believe anything that, you know, I say, don't hold much value in anything they feel and those guys go around saying because they always say that they hear us, right? But they always under deliver. When well, you have one company, they don't say shit on Twitter, really. They don't interact with their fans, X, Y, and Z. Or they come out and cater to their fans and give them exactly what they want or what they've been looking for. You, you see where I'm going with this? You know what I mean? Huh? Sorry, repeat that. What you said? Sorry. No, before. I'm sorry. School, school. I said you have one company. You, tell, you have to tell us the two sides of the story. You have one company that doesn't really have a huge presence on Twitter, not interacting with the fans, and doesn't you know what I mean? interact with them. not really say shit, right? Then you got another company that does all the talking and it always misses the goddamn mark. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sony comes out and like I said, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's like the tales of two start. You know what I mean? Two stories. There, you know what I mean? One is always out there claiming to be hit, claim to be in tune. Uh, and then another company don't really say shit, but it always comes out there and delivers. And, and again, to be fair, right? I two out. You don't need a two hour goddamn long show. And, and they think it's because it's two hours. Or they got what? So what is Sony? What is Sony going to show? Right? Even if they show his thing, they, they, this they, this just stands. It took yesterday on BGST. Even if we finally seen some gameplay of Ghost of Tsushima, new shit. Those games that they look a fire, they look exciting, and it's not the same goddamn thing for our exclusives over here. You know what I mean? And this is just being uh, honest. You know what I mean? Regardless, if we heard about, if we know about those games two years ago, they are just better games. And I think a lot of X guys, Xbox guys, are not really honest when it comes to that. You know what I mean? No, nah, they're not. And yeah, as a gamer, I don't know how you could see some of these games on the other side and you just have one console and really not feel some type of way, honestly. Mm. Oh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, some of like, listen to Xbox. You know what? I, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, mm -hmm. I still think some indies have a place on, on the Microsoft cool. mm -hmm. conference, maybe the, the more fire ones, you know, and, and something like, you know, like, what Sony's doing over here, you could present like those smaller uh, indie games, you know, and and maybe you could do like um, a Minecraft thing there because I really, I really don't want to see any Minecraft on the stage. Like, like I, I, I'm, I'm Minecraft out, and I'm scared that these guys are gonna jump on the uh, Roblox bandwagon, and we're gonna have to put up with a bunch of Roblox shit. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. It's, it just, 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 just come with the fire because truth be told, when Sony does their press conference, they don't really show those little games. They show some pretty big hitters and if they have like a, a section like that for the most times most years it's a really really small section where microsoft seems to dedicate a lot of time to some smaller titles and I, to be fair it might be because they just didn't have any bigger titles and hopefully this year they can deliver some big titles for us let's see we're a few days away i'm fucking excited man like it's right here this other day we're saying oh e3 wait to e3 wait to d3 uh -huh. There was memes out there with my hair turning gray waiting for E3. Well, my hair's black now. E3 is just a few days away, and, man, I'm excited. Two hours? Well, so what are you doing E3? Rocking out? What else are you doing? Your own thing? What you doing? Yeah, yeah, no, doing? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do both, man. You know me. I'm multi- Man, I'm multi <laughs> man. I'm, I'm going to be streaming it here. I'll be on one podcast here. I'll yeah. be in Germany on another podcast over there <laughs> cooking up some curry goat and oxtail for the family, you know? Uh, 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 uh. Well, like I said, I know I'm not going to hold you much longer, Danny. You, you're back there working. Thank you for swinging by. I uh, appreciate it. And um, I, I, I'm sitting and bug out with the chat for a minute. If you got to go, like I said, I'm not going to hold you up. More or less, if you got to go. I mean, glad you can stick around. It's up to you. Um, uh, something I said. First of all, I could care less about E3. Income, because less of a gamer because I'm becoming less of a gamer this shit. Uh here's the thing, right? 30 minutes of Minecraft. Um uh shut again. Shout out <laughs> listen, shout out everybody in the chat. Like I said, if again you'd be so kind uh to hit the like button. Uh whether you think my show is dog shit, we hate my guts, but like I said, I'm banned on Twitter. Uh so I don't even know why I got banned on Twitter. I still don't yeah, know. Yeah that was yeah I was trying to, I was trying to tweet you uh, out. 
What I, you know, it's crazy. I don't bother nobody. I really don't bother. I really don't tweet anything. And you know, I don't know what the hell that was about, man. I think the Diabetic Association got me again or something. Uh, no, seriously. Uh, Crap said something he woke up about. Uh, I, I think I know what happened. Crap put uh, that he woke up with his neck hurting or some shit. I said, oh, something you know me fucking around. Did you go to sleep playing the wrong dog shit council all of a sudden? He said, and I said, check your sugar, you fat bitch. Like that, right? And then oh, uh, I don't know. That got me. Like, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, man. Man. You can't, can. you can't you can't appeal it or anything. I don't know, man. I just made a new one. I mean, it is what it is, man. I don't I mean, I have about five thousand followers. I mean, not one a lot, lot, but damn, you know, it is what it is, though. I'm gonna shout anybody in the chat, but um, like I said, E three kicks off when Sunday or Saturday. Saturday, yeah. And who's that with? Uh, EA. It's probably, it's probably EA, yeah. No, biggest game this holiday season. What is it? Red Dead, man. Red Dead. Yeah, I think Red Dead. A big game this holiday season for sure. Mm. What else? What else is it going to be? It's going to be red. Uh, well, you you got duty. You got duty. Yeah, you, you I, the better Royale mode. Du- du- duty is not going to outperform um, Red Dead, man. No, no, nah, it's not going to outperform it. Even with the with, even with the the controversial two modes locked behind the special edition, a hundred dollar without the game. Well, I think they're going to get some suck- if if people don't revolt. I think they're going to get some suckers. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's it's you know it's one of those situations where you know the product is good, so you know people they fiend for it. Yeah, 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 man. Oh my, here's the thing too. Are you are you playing um, Detroit? Yeah, man, I'm playing Detroit. I played how, how far uh, how far are you in the game? I'm not that far. I'm I'm uh, I'm in the house now with the other Android. He, he took me from the store, and I'm about to I'm scanning the kitchen to do some cleaning. Uh, oh. To the, uh, to do some oh man, my god, you guys listen for those in the chat. Prolo, go back to and fucking if you haven't yet, if, I'm sorry, if you don't have the game, you'll sit on the fence about the game. Uh, maybe it may not look that good. Fun, I'm sorry, watch this one's play it, but I can say this I've never been that this, I'm gonna say this again, this emotionally invested into a game or to characters ever in my life. And that sounds kind of cheesy to me. Oh, I felt with the character, you know, I mean, I was in this, uh, listen. I'm in mostly invested into these goddamn these androids, bro. Yeah. I'm I, at the end of the. I mean, at the last, I cut the game off because the, the, the little kid died. Everybody died. I said, I don't want to start the shit. I want nobody to die. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had to start over. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh no, hell. Well, like, the one part when I was walking to, to go to the paint shop, and then I got the shit I was supposed to get there, and getting on the bus, and these guys, you know, they're, they're all around you, and they throw you to the ground, they start kicking you. Yo, I was like, yo, where's where's the button? I can like start smashing these fools, man. Oh wait, uh, Baron said Smash Brothers will be the biggest game this holiday season. Oh really. come on, man. Right. I'm sure Smash Brothers will have its place, but it, nothing's gonna beat Red Dead. Like that's like saying Smash Brothers is gonna beat Grand Theft Auto. Like Red Dead Redemption is pretty much on the same level as that game. Come on, man. No, he said, "What the? What the? So you got that? Yo, you, 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 you got the Oculus Rift, right? Yeah, I got the Rift. Yeah, I don't know. I, I you know what? I've never played VR. So VR, VR, VR is amazing. I have, I have the Rift. I got the new Oculus Go. You know what? The Oculus Go is pretty good if you want to get into VR. It's pretty cheap. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's like hundred and it's like two hundred US dollars for that shit, man. It's pretty, pretty cheap. Also, too, right now at the Microsoft Store, the Lenovo um, Mixed Reality headset is on sale for like two hundred and fifty. I think it's two hundred and fifty dollars. It's on sale for. It's like half price. Normally it's five hundred dollars or four hundred or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. So it's two fifty in the store. It comes with the um the the controls for your hand, the motion controls. It comes with the headset. You know, it's it's a higher resolution than the actual Rift, and you know you plug it into. Well, how much PC. are the game? How much are the games then? Ah, uh, because uh, for on VR for PC. Well, th- there's there's cheaper games that you can get, and then there's of course you know like you know the triple a titles that you would buy anyways that have a vr mode right so mm-hmm. it, it it varies and especially on pc games are games are cheaper right so okay uh oh, oh, okay. i guess i i, I don't know it's okay I, he asked me I, I, what, what are you asking me how much am i selling what what are you talking about bro asking me what am i selling I, I don't know what you uh what you're asking me uh they asked me am i selling something cuz i'm not even counting pokemon let's go I hate pokemon but what when is Pokemon come out this year too? Um D. What? Pokemon comes out this year? Yeah, I think Pokemon comes out this year. Pokemon's gonna be big too, but they're gonna be bigger than yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon's gonna be big. I'm not gonna lie. Pokemon's gonna be and big. And they ain't gonna be bigger than Red Dead Redemption, though. No, it's not gonna be. Red Dead Redemption is you know, you 
It's silly if, you, if you're betting against that. That's going to be the game. Uh, my man, Baby Hand says, oh, shout out to you for the $2. He said, Riff is awesome. I have four systems up. Try it. Hey, listen, my man, I'm bringing little means. I broke, man. Somebody asked me, too, about the playground game. Yeah, heavily rumored. Yeah, most likely uh, it's going to get announced during E3 that they acquired them. You know what I mean? Yeah, not like Microsoft going to buy E3. I mean, buy EA. Like, I think it's real. Like, a lot of, like, they've seen some memos and stuff. They almost like, they pulled the gun trick on them and, and bought them. Uh, like I said, Almighty Spartan God Lamb. Like I said, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I guess, uh, um, no Red Dead. I know the same level as GTA. Uh, he said Red Dead should Red Dead set the stage for GTA to be what it was, man. Should uh, Red Dead Redemption, check it out. Red Dead Redemption, it was bigger than Grand Theft Auto 4. That was real talk. Red Dead Redemption the, on last generation was bigger than Grand Theft Auto 4. That's a fact. That's not my opinion. And I don't really care for any of the games. That's just, you know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, but um, before I'm about to get the hell about it, hey, D, listen, thank you for swinging by. I appreciate it, my man. Spur yeah, the man. moment. I will be live. Listen, they don't keep my black ass in the hospital tonight. I'll be live streaming. I'm going to be back on, um, what do you call it? Um, Detroit. I'm on the last mission of that. And after that, I don't know what I'm going to play. Um, how's that? Have you played that vampire game yet? Have you played it yet? No, I looked. I, I saw it on how much, is it it looked, how much of the game. I don't know. It looks shitty to me, though. You know what I mean? It wasn't something that I don't know. I got I got looks to the reviews, but it's not something that was on my radar, to be honest with you, man. I got so many games right now that I need to get through, man. And I, I don't need like a little B title like that right now, to be honest with you. I want to get through Detroit. I still need to get through uh, God of God War. Of War. Oh, yeah, and, 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 and I have I have a backlog. So with the baby, it's, it's kind of hard. And then when he goes to bed in the night, I try to play and then like as soon as I hit play, I fall asleep on the couch. You man. know what's I'm crazy, saying. bro? Let me see if we can tell nobody. I remember when Maya uh, was younger, whatever the hell the case may be. And I used to tell people that, man, you don't play no games. I said, having a baby, bro, I ain't going to lie, bro. That take up a lot of time. And this yeah. person, they get about one, two. They want to sit in my lap. I'm trying to play the game. Like, that took yeah. a man. And, and the thing is, I'll, I'll, like, I'll have a spare moment to be to be playing games. And then the baby will cry. And she'd be like, get up and get the baby. I'm not playing games. She's like, what? I'm like, oh, shit. You know, <laughs> get, get up and get and the you know, baby. He said, he said, I told you when I'm going to beat Detroit until Wednesday. Now, what's today, Tuesday? Today's Detroit, Tuesday. Hey, bro, I'm on the last scene uh, uh, game. Detroit over tonight, bro. If they don't keep my black ass in the house, Detroit is over tonight. Next year, what games I want to pick up this year? Um, Red Dead Redemption 2. If they don't, you know what I mean? I'm talking shit about it, but I'll get that for the chat. Mini live stream with you guys. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, if that comes out this year, of course. Force on Horizon 4, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, Grant, I'm sorry, Gears, I mean, Gears of War 5, if that's what we're getting this year. Uh, Spider Man, uh, what else? What, what else? What else? Anything else coming out from Sony that I know of? No. Tsushima. That's not this year, that's, oh, that's next year. Oh, this, oh, this year, this talk. year. Uh, I'll probably get the crew too. Um, the yeah, beta, looks, the beta yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, I want to. Um, oh, so you're playing the beta, so how is it? I try. I didn't get into the beta. Yeah, man. it's awesome, bro. It's like it's like it's like Forza Horizon. They give giving Forza Horizon. Uh, what's it called Kingdom Hearts three? I never played a Kingdom Hearts game in my life, but I'm, I'm going to get it. Um, to, for you know to write, you know, stream with you. I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game ever. Uh, what else we got? Assassin's Creed. I'm looking forward to that. I need to finish the last one. You know what I mean? What's up, Zach Kareem? You know what I mean? And um, I, am I missing anything? So many damn games. Uh, probably Battlefield one. Uh, you know, I mean, probably that's about it. Man, Vampire is kind of an indie game. How much is it? What's the asking price for it? It's like probably 60 like 40 bucks or something. Man, he said, What somebody just said something about kids. Well, I didn't know what the hell you know what I mean, but uh, oh, yeah, and Soul Calibur. I know Soul Calibur's coming out this year. You know, what I mean, I know Soul Calibur's coming out this year, so you know, I like my fighters. So it is what it is, man. So that's about it. Like I said, uh, but yeah, uh, Z, I, I'll be like, I ain't smashing no brothers. Oh, yeah, Smash Bros. Yeah, I ain't with that shit. Red Dead on the PS4. I'll probably get it on both. I uh, mean, you know what I mean? To play with both communities. You know what I mean? To have fun with you guys, you know? Like I said, but now that I'm streaming, I will say this, right? And I'm going to do just much effort I put into this dog shit ass channel right here. I'm going to put the same effort into my Twitch channel. And so a lot of games that I probably wouldn't normally play, I'm going to play. You know, you guys support me. You guys want to see me play it? Like you, you guys tell me about all these goddamn Yakuza games and all this shit. I need to go back in there. Detroit gonna be finished. Detroit gonna be finished tonight. 
I don't understand how the Detroit's gonna be. I got one mission from the last chapter. I'm gonna do that. There's something gonna need to do some The Last of Us, Horizon. I got Uncharted 4. I got mad shit that I can go through and play through with you guys, man. You know what I mean? I picked all that stuff back up, you know? Yeah, but uh, but yeah, but anyway, um, the Yakuza 3 4 remakes coming this year. You're getting it next year. I gotta finish the ones I got first, man. No, those games, those, those Yakuza games are only for overseas. Oh, they're not coming to the States. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. So next gen, are you gonna do reactions to all three in conference? If I do, yeah, I'm I'm not doing Nintendo. I don't want no, I don't want no problems with Nintendo. I won't yeah, be covering yeah, them. Show their stuff, man. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, remember that? Remember that one multiplayer we were doing that year? It was last year. We was doing a yeah, multiplayer, right. and I shared I the screen. I forgot what the hell I was on Twitter for. We were talking about oh the Switch not being uh not the successor to the 3DS, and I was just sharing my screen. I was just on Twitter, and they would show the new version of the 3DS. And they, you know, on, you know, on Twitter, like a little, like a newspaper ad, they flag the video. I do not, man. Listen, I don't, I don't, re- I don't rock out with Nintendo, bro, at all, man. But, uh, yeah, okay. I told it was gonna be brutal. Yeah, it's gonna be brutal, man. But anyway, like I said, uh, not me. It's not worth forty five dollars, fifty five vampires, twenty five dollars max. Oh, okay. Uh, Z, I ain't smashing no bros, but Sony ain't got shit this year. Man, what are you talking about, Baron? Hey, Baron. Band in the chat acting crazy. I wish somebody ain't got nothing this year. Now nah, I ain't doing no PC show. I ain't, you know what I mean? They ain't gonna show them a multiplats. Uh, but now nah, Baron said, no, nah, so I, mean, I don't know, man. But uh, yeah, but anyway, like I said, um, that should become say, what did you say? That batch become D. Oh, he's crazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 but again, thank you guys for rocking out spur of the moment. I'm about to take my half dead ass to the, to the yard, but listen. Uh, God willing, like I said, my grandma said the creek don't rise. I'll be back in later on, uh, about nine ten. We can uh, finish up. What do you call it? Uh, what's that damn game? Detroit become human, and then we might do the Last of Us or or Uncharted. We do something. We do a walkthrough. Something. We have some more fun. Or well, I might do State of Decay multiplayer. And gears. This will make a difference, man. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna have a little fun tonight, man. But we out of here. Go. What's up, Go? My brother, man. What's going on, man? PC has exclusive to his pack. I not that I know of. I don't know any. I'm not really into the Dota's. I'm not into the the League of Legends. Not my thing. But maybe I can get there. You know what I mean? No, I'm, I'm be honest with you. The PC guys that I know here within the community, uh, Warrior, what's up, baby? The PC guys that I know, they all do the multiplats on their PC. They had the best version of the multiplats. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Nah, I've never really been into the Blaze Blue thing, man. It's never really been my right, thing. Up, All right, you got to get brother. Right. That's never really been my thing, man. I never really did the Blaze. You know, when I, the fighters, I do um, Street Fighter, Tekken, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat and stuff, man. Hey, Warrior, you got to hit me up on Twitter. I got a new... Hey, Warrior, here, this is my new Twitter, too, Warrior. Hold up. Where you my new Twitter? All right, for those who know, yeah, they banned your boy on Twitter. This is my new Twitter. I'm trying to get my contacts back, man. Hold up. Hey, Warrior. Let's see if you're still in the chat. This is my new Twitter, Warrior. Well, I'm not going to follow you back. Uh, I might have followed you, but I didn't. Know, but this is my new Twitter. My only Twitter. Let's switch there. It said PC is fire. See, always like I'm getting ready to get up out of here. It's if like 30 minutes. You guys start talking to me, man. Y'all be talking to me, man. So I'm about to get up out of here, right? You guys be talking to me. Oh, you know what I mean? Hold on. Not into regression. Yeah, hold on a second. Oh man. Oh yeah. Washington well, show how to play with yarn. Yeah, yeah. But nah, but listen, man. Hey, wanna say bye to Zaya. No, I shut up later, Dread. What's up? Uh, but yeah, but like I said, um, I'll check later before I get the body. I'm still waiting for my old girl to get in if I can go get the hell of body at man. Later dead. PC gaming needs what? Now that D is gone, show is gonna get it's, hey yo, he said hey, hey, hey yo, hey Marshall Simon, you a savage, bro. He said not he said not a D going to show about the get you ready for me to cut up. The company going to work for me to cut up. 
You not be in the bugging. Be bugging. Be bugging. Be bugging. Be bugging. Be bugging. Be bugging. Now you ain't late. This we want to show back face. What you ain't get? The, what you ain't get? The, and listen, a lot of you guys said y'all don't be getting notifications when I go live, man. All I say is unsubscribe and resubscribe and hit the like, the bell. But I don't know what the hell that be about, man. You know what I mean? I don't know what that be about. Why that be happening? You know what I mean? Take it back to the beginning, man. Uh, Xbox says, you want to, you want to, am I going to platinum Detroit? Man, you know, I put the C in casual, bro. I ain't got, bro, I got too many games. Right. What's up, right, baby? Not a show ain't ending, yeah. I got too many games, man. We sitting trying to be back. I got a big back catalog and stuff. And listen, I want to say this shameless plug. Now that I'm really getting into this live streaming thing with Twitch and stuff. So I got my back catalog. I got it, bro. I ain't even put in, uh, what's that? Um, uh, the Evil Within 2, I'm going to play that. I haven't even played I haven't even popped the seal on that. I'm going to play that. You know what I mean? I got to finish my assassin. There's so much stuff I want to do. You know, any day I'm going to be playing something different, man. You know what I mean? But I ain't going to lie. I ain't cut my Xbox on in a minute. Xbox ain't been on in a minute, man. You know, I'd probably get to pick up Battlefield before Kai. But if guys want to see me play, you know, Duty, I'll play Duty. Oh, you like my Sonic shirt, man? Yeah, I got a bunch of little shirts like this, man. Pick up, man. <laughs> I keep all the flash shit in the house. Yeah, I never even played it, man. I heard that. You know what I mean? For real, I heard that, man. Bro. Said so crap game is all about that PlayStation VR life. Uh, I've never played it, man. It's two hundred dollars, man. I got my goal, not my goal. What you call it? My goals on my Twitch thing, my channel. I think I, I got ten dollars so far donated towards my uh me getting uh PlayStation VR. But I want to do the uh Resident Evil thing there, live streaming and shit. Two hundred dollars. Zaya, what's the best Xbox One heads? Uh, true. I'm gonna pay the bills though. Uh, I got somebody left me something in super chat. I ain't see it though. Or you talking about somebody else? Um. My best headset, honestly, I like these here from Razors, and I like the um, Hyper Clouds. I like I like these Razor headsets too, though. You know what I mean? So, oh Matt, who that match? Trash. Oh, what's up, bro? Uh, I mean, you say I'm wrong. You will hop in uh, before we. Well, well they go mask. All right, before we listen, let me get you what the three topics. You didn't hop in, fucking. It is what it is. Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, locking two uh pay modes behind that dog shit special edition box for a hundred dollars without the game. So you gotta buy that box just for those two missions to get that trash ass collection edition and still spend sixty five dollars on the game. What are your thoughts about that? Um, fuck them, <laughs> and everybody who was okay with 2K and the fuckery that they have been doing as of lately mm-hmm. has has set this up and made it okay. Because Take-Two has just taken what they've learned just like EA took what they learned and they applied it to Rockstar. That's it. Yeah, like they, they really jumped. Let me be honest, like I said earlier on the show, that I've seen Activision get backlash, EA's gotten backlash, Ubisoft has gotten backlash. Even though people complain about some of the things that Rockstar have done over the last few years, if you know, I mean, people never really said anything. Like I've seen uh, Garrett, he complains about those shark cards. I don't even know what a shark card is, but he always goes out and buy them. But I actually now see people or well, gamers actually, you know, I mean, uh, some of them, you know, like, yo, this is like, he said, truly anti consumerism. To be fair, I've never really won. To complain about if you want to spend your money, it's your money. But the fact that they're gonna probably two probably gonna be hugely insanely popular modes, which are the bank robbery mice and the other one, uh, behind a special a hundred dollar special, which again, what comes in that collector's edition, it's not a cool figurine, none of that shit is a box full of fucking cars and a red bandana, some dog shit, right? And then you still have to spend sixty four dollars to buy the game. Like, yo, that's like, you know what I mean? Like, damn, you more, like, yeah. If, again, if Red Dead wasn't as insanely as popular as it was, and have, like, and people been waiting for it for so long, well, they've been able to do this. Like, they really are, uh, you know, taking uh, uh, gamers for a ride. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, it's, a, it's the same shit. Just like, and, and like I said, 
it all started with NBA 2K. Like GTA 5, it started with the the shark cards, and then everything in game costs like two million dollars, and they give you like you know three K to do a mission. Like, mm-hmm. like yeah, they they already slid that in there, and people accepted it because they was giving out the free shit. And then NBA 2K18, that Shack edition was one hundred fifty dollars and came with trash, mm-hmm. but. <laughs> Like, they just kept up in the ante, and people kept buying it. So you buy the things that they put out, and, and these are all feelers. Like, it's all long game. Like, people don't understand. All these companies playing chess, they know exactly what they're doing. They're going to put out this one thing. They're going to see how big that backlash is. Mm-hmm. If that backlash ain't bigger than the profit share, you ain't said shit. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's that simple. If If the... The mutterings of the vocal minority ain't bigger than what that pocketbook looked like. It don't mean nothing. And that's all that's happening. Take two. They taking their little cues from people, you know, going out and buying the shot cards. And instead of grinding in the game, because you don't want to grind, but you want that DeLorean that shoots rockets. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to grind, so you buy that little shot card and black like, fuck it. So, you know, it's only $10. Then... You go and buy that hundred fifty dollar Shack edition, and then they make everything super grindy in the my player to the point where you either gotta pay play like four to six thousand games, or you just buy this twenty dollar pack of VC. Like they they took what they have been fed over the years and they eaten. Mm-hmm. That's simple. Well, like I said, I, I, you know, like I said, I'm always uh, for the consumer first. I think, like, I think that's just, just really, really pushing the envelope. And I'm not one of those zealots. Like my man, what's my man named Wags? out there rent, but he ain't that. I can't wait to see his rent video about this. I rather he won't spend your money. This what it is, but I think they're really, really, really uh doing too much for this here. Again, uh, last uh, one other thing we talked about: Microsoft uh supposedly uh pulled the trigger and acquired Playground Games. What are your thoughts about this? Uh, it's good for Microsoft if Playground gets treated right. But it don't matter. Like, Microsoft is in one of those positions where they said they're going to strengthen their first party, right? So they, let's say they go out, they buy a Playground. Instead of everybody being like, all right, Microsoft actually went out and acquired a first party studio. They're going to be like, oh, they're just making more Forza. Nobody gives a damn. Like, mm-hmm. literally, that's what I've seen. For 90% of the people was like, oh, well, it's just, they just they only going to make Forza. So what's, what's the problem? It don't matter. It don't mean nothing. Like, but they're supposed to be making Fable. Yeah. They're supposed to be making Forza. They, they, they and, um, expanded on the studios, yeah. Right. So all it's going to do is it's all going to come back to the same thing. Microsoft back to making the same, instead of the big three, now they're making the big four. They Oh, it's just another Fable game. Like, if they treat Playground right, Playground will be a, a good developer for them. It'll be a good first party installment. Mm-hmm. If they don't, we'll we'll see how this situation dissolves itself over the next you know couple years. Yeah, I hope they don't. I hope they don't go the way. Of, I ain't gonna lie, Microsoft. When it comes to them and the developers, they ain't besides t- Turn Ten. They ain't been the, the kind. You see what happened to Lionhead. Uh, you see what they, you know, they, they've been the death of developers. You look at Rare. I don't know what the hell is going on. You know what I mean? Uh, I, here's the thing. My only thing, uh, if Microsoft likes to let them be great, let them go out there and create and be, you know, developers. And I just say, the, and the ultimate, it all boils down, like I said, Microsoft is so keen about business. If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Where, you know, for lack of a, you, you've seen Naughty Dog come out there and say, well, either Naughty Dog either was, who did Horizon? One of those guys said that Sony doesn't really come in and mandate what they go out there and make, you know what I mean? They let them, they give them creative freedom. And I can I hope that, the, you know, Microsoft, again, uh, give them the creative freedom uh, to, you know, go out there and be great. But you do have, like you said, with, like, you know, what, is, what, do, what do you think about what, what Matt Booty said? What did you take away from that? You know what I mean? Uh, is, you know, do you, did you take it as them doubling down as games with services? You're not, we're not going to really invest in, you know, you know, one player story different than that. What did you take away from that, from that interview for him? Because, you know, I yeah. took it as him following what his boss t- said. Mm-hmm. Like, it, let's say he came out, right? Mm-hmm. And he was like, 
fuck all that. We about to put out nothing but single player games, all these games and service games is trash. But the guy who runs it said something opposite. How do you think that's gonna work? How is that gonna play out in the how things get done, get accomplished? Mm-hmm. Also, think I personally don't like the, the they're not my games, but Halo and Gears, the games as a service games, but they have a vast single player component. Mm-hmm. So they count as games as a service games. Mm-hmm. There can be games that exist just like that, that have a single player component that are also games as a service games. Mm-hmm. I'm not necessarily saying that there there isn't a room for a single player story, dri- story driven and that is it game. No, but that's not the direction Microsoft's taken. And in reality, that's not how Microsoft has been, or Xbox, not even Microsoft. That's not the way Xbox has been for a long time. Like, they've always been on the longevity portion mm-hmm. of, like, as soon as Xbox Live came out and it was successful, mm-hmm. this has always been their direction. Always. And I don't know why people didn't see it. Like, there was a reason they were called the Doritos box and the Mountain Dew box, you know, mm-hmm. the dude, bro. Like, there's a reason all that shit exists because Microsoft has always been about games as a service. We just didn't call it games as a service. It was multiplayer back then. Mm-hmm. But it's the same shit, same shit now. It's just now we gave it a different name and all of a sudden it's, it's different and new and well, why would you do this? But this shit has been around forever. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just that the problem is that now people are equating one to the other as opposed to things having multi multi facets. It's the same thing with COD. COD became all multiplayer. And people were got to, you know, people were talking about the single player and that that engagement of one side to the other, there can be both. And people only expecting one side is the problem. People only calling for one side is is as much a problem as them only catering to one side. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. so, like I said, it's, it was him following what his boss said. His boss said basically the same exact damn thing. He regurgitated that shit. Okay. It, right. it, the The people the people in charge of you are always going to dictate the way the ship is being steered. So your job as a employee slash director in that situation is to reinforce what your boss's vision is in order to maintain a oneness, quote unquote, but also drive the visions that you have individually. Mm-hmm. Now, what that looks like over the next couple of years, we'll see. Because right now, Matt's been there for what? Three months? Two months? Something like that? Months, right, so months, yeah. his, his influence ain't gonna be seen in shit that's coming out in the next two, three, year and a half. Three, yes, yeah. Uh-huh. Like his his influence in the direction they're going, it ain't gonna be seen anytime soon. Mm-hmm. So we'll see if it has an impact or if it doesn't. We'll see if we start getting more um, large AAA quote unquote experiences. We'll we'll all see, but. Mm-hmm. The problem is always going to be the same. Like, let's say they come out E3, guns blazing, mm-hmm. blow everybody socks off. Two, okay. three new IPs. They got Fable coming out. Scalebound comes out of nowhere. Like, whatever the, the most outlandish bullshit happens, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say they come out. All that shit is going to be attributed to Matt, but Matt didn't do shit yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh. uh, he's going to jump out the window one way or the other. Okay, all right, well, a last thing, and again, it's something that we touched on yesterday uh, on BGST, and something I've been saying for a while also, uh, that Sony uh, can't, well, they, they're going to start their E3 off, kick it off this Wednesday. Uh, we're making, uh, they, they're announcing um, announcing a new PS4 game with PlayStation VR support, a release date for an upping, I'm sorry, for an upcoming Worldwide Studios title, uh, announcing a new PS4 game, announcing a new PS- PSVR game. Uh, and again, most likely these are smaller titles, 
But you know, what you know, they had to come out during E three. Like I've always said again, that Indies doesn't really belong on the big stage. You got a pre E three show, and you got an after E three show, and you got the whole week. And again, I can like the way they're doing it. You know what I mean? And again, like I said, Microsoft show is going to be two hours. You know what I mean? You know, and again, this has always been the problem that I've had with Microsoft and their shows. They start off on this high, they go, they should stream low and loop warm against the things that they show. I think this is a great idea for Sony and what Sony's doing. I wish Microsoft would adapt something like that again. Start shoving all that little bullshit, you know, the ookie ookie thing games, and you know, with the guy, the weird guy with the shirt on and Minecraft. Boom. You got to, again, like what Sony's doing. They start this shit on Wednesday. Bam, bam, we'll announce was on the way up until this show. And, uh, you know, like, what, are you, what are your thoughts about that? You think it's ingenious, stupid, bad idea? Like, what are, you thought of, what are your thoughts about that? I, real talk, I think Microsoft has been doing that with the bullshit-ass Inside Xbox shows. Because uh, if any of the shit that's been on Inside Xbox had showed up on stage, <laughs> you know, you alone, just keep it 100. If okay. any of the shit that had been showing up on these Inside Xbox shows Showed up on E3 stage, would you have been okay with any of it? If they showed off the Halo um, game for the fucking arcade, if they showed off that shit, that shit that's gonna be in Chuck E. Cheese and all that bullshit, okay. if they showed off right. that shit, would you have been okay? No, here's the thing. Uh, no, no, no. All right, all right. This show was for two hours, right? Right. Two hours long. And I'm from Monster, you don't need a long show to have a great show. This show was two hours long, right? Uh, Best believe we're gonna get more shit like that within that two hours. I, I think, agree. And anybody thinking that Microsoft gonna come up with hit after hit for two hours, you're you are extremely mistaken. You might you're see lock your damn mind. You might see us up there break dance for just dance for us. I'm scared to get them state. And again, what I'm saying again, that bullshit, that fluff that they're gonna show during that segment of this show. Even with that, I wish they could relegate it to a pre E three show, and then a bunch of other kids again. Uh, I'm gonna say this again. E3 is the red carpet, the Michael Bay, the explosion over the top, but shows well. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit. Trailer, cinematic, trailer, in game, play, fake gameplay. People want to see the glitz glamour. You know what I mean? And again, I wish they would save that stuff for their show. And I ain't gonna be on that inside the Xbox show. I and we talked about this too yesterday on BJC. I don't know who the fuck that show's for. I, I don't know. Does it speak to the hardcore? No, not to me. I don't even no. think the casual likes that shit. Who the fuck is that show for? Is it to to get Sony fans to put down the PlayStation and, and, and to pick up any Xbox One, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like who 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 is the inside Xbox show for? You know what I mean? It's, inside Xbox is one thing and it's one thing only. It's to get people talking about Xbox. Good, bad, somewhere in the middle. Because people are gonna talk shit regardless. Mm-hmm. Regardless. But for that one day and the days surrounding it, there's a whole bunch of Twitter chatter and YouTube chatter about Inside Xbox. Mm-hmm. How shitty that show is. That's all, because that's all it's been. It's been trash. Every, mm-hmm. every single one, every time you get a, you get 20 fucking YouTube videos about how trash Inside Xbox was. Or even more than that, you get a, a few hundred YouTube videos about how trash it was. You mm-hmm. get some people streaming it. You get some people doing live reactions. Like, all that is to drum up publicity, to drum up Xbox chatter. Mm-hmm. To keep Xbox on your mind, like I said, good, bad, and different. I don't know what their thought process is for trying to use this as marketing, as a marketing tool. Because to me, it's backfiring. Mm-hmm. But that is, I'm, I guarantee you, that is how they laid this out: is that Xbox or inside Xbox will get Xbox chatter happening. It'll get mm-hmm. people on Twitch and people on Mixer and Twitter, and YouTube, and all these places talking about Xbox for a day or two every month. Mm. Good, bad, somewhere and different. You'll, you'll get the people who have lost their goddamn minds, and they are, they are on some absurd shit talking about this show was great. Mm. <laughs> and then you'll get everybody who's keeping it real in the middle, and then you'll get the people who's just straight, this shit was trash. Hey yo, like, he said, like, "My man, that show for people that have this song me and they need to sleep like a baby." <laughs> it's true. That's just boring. The last one, we didn't even finish it. We was live streaming the reaction and didn't even fucking finish it. That's how trash that shit was. Oh man, that's, that's how trash boring. that shit that was. was. But it's wild, just, like I said, we we are a perfect example of what they want. We was live streaming our reaction to this shit. 
Mm-hmm. Then the next show was about how trash it was. That's at least two engagement pieces, as far as marketing goes, about Xbox. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah. that's what I think that's for. That's all I think that shit is for. Then they get all these announcements out the way that nobody really gives a fuck about, but they needed to be said at some point in time, and it was either fill up this dumbass show with them or make a whole bunch of YouTube trailers mm-hmm. that are going to get picked apart either way. So if you make it a big event and make it this one day about Xbox, as opposed to we we seen they they Xbox channel numbers, that shit ain't getting watched. But this event gets watched, like good or bad. That's that's the direction they use it inside Xbox for. Mm. And don't get it twisted. You will one hundred percent see Sony have indies on stage. <laughs> Sean already said that. Mm-hmm. So they'll have indies on stage, even if they get the smaller AKA announcements out of the way. Now, Sony will still have an indie reel and some form of indie game on stage. All right. Well, uh, again, hey, Alex, man, listen, I need mean, Thursday, Alex, man. I know Alex will be out there selling weed, man, on a, on a, on a go pit, man. Alex, Thursday, multiplayer, man. We got to cook this nigga, Laren. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, thank you guys for swinging by today. I'm about to get my take my black ass to the ER. Hope I, I, I can make a swift return. Might let my black ass out tonight. We will be on um Twitch. Uh, you, uh, man, hey, Matt, you playing Detroit Become Human? You playing it? Yeah, I'm playing it. It's, it's, you don't like it? It is. It's okay. Man, like, I got I, these David Cage games, look, like I have to be in the mood for a David Cage game. Look, look, no, that's the, I said Detroit. Yeah, I said David Cage. That's who makes it. That's who makes Detroit. Oh, listen, that's, must, that's the dude who makes it. Detroit. In the game, I, that ain't gonna lie. It's high. It take a low, but goddamn, it should pull you right back in. And man, I'm man. I, man. I have to be in the mood. Like it, can, it, it got some spotty controls, which I don't understand because it doesn't. You don't control too much. Like the the story and the interweaving and stuff. That's cool, but I don't know. I just have to be in the mood for one of those type of games. Man, uh, I'm all in, bro. You know what I mean? But uh, but yeah, listen, ladies and gentlemen. That's because you don't play no goddamn game. Shit, me. And it don't require motor function. Fuck shit, me. hey, listen, bro. That <laughs> game is... Hey, yo, listen, that may be my game of the generation. I've never been that that in, mostly invested into any character. Listen, I even told... I even turned Post around. Post like, I ain't... What? This shit fire. We was up to 4 o'clock in the morning watching me live stream. Now, I'm on the last chapter. Yo, that shit crazy. That shit crack. <laughs> and they did him, uh, Devil, uh, not uh, can call it Devil May Cry. Uh, listen, guys, if you're not following my Twitch, here's the link for the Twitch. I will be live streaming uh, the last chapter, and they're probably going to do with some of Charlie, try to clear that too, or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, I, mean I got a lot of stuff I got to play, but I got a big back catalog. You know what I mean? So, but anyway, that's there. You know what I mean? That's there. And also, too, your boy, if you those are just joining, I've been Twitter jail or banned on Twitter. I still don't even know why. I think it's because I called crap a fat bitch or something on Twitter. Uh, I'm thinking that's it because the tweet is no longer there. I think they banned people calling him a fat bitch, and and the check is sugar and the, and the diabetic association got me again, making fun of diabetics literally. And I think I'm banned because of that, literally. Uh, but here's my my link to my my one and only uh Twitter thing. Uh, but thank yeah. you guys. For oh, sp- also put put yeah. the link for SoundCloud iTunes because I'm I'm on my phone. I ain't got I can't. L- listen, listen. For, oh, here, uh, what I need to do is start promoting it more. But uh, for those guys that like to watch podcasts and all that stuff on your i, you know, the Stitcher Radio, SoundCloud, or iTunes, the links are all those are, are in the description in the body right under the. You know, some of you guys, what's the description? I'm going to ask me that one time. You see my big ass face? See me right under me? My big ass face. You click there, and so there'll be a whole bunch of blue links, and then you got SoundCloud, Apple, Stitcher, all that. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah, I even yeah. Did I, oh, I gotta update my damn Twitter shit. Yeah, uh, and these, they get they get updated the day after he posts the video. Like yeah. we got we we have a lot of the the uh, Triple B podcast on there. They're gonna start going up on a off a regular basis. But whatever this fuck nigga puts up, I put up the day after. Yeah, because you know he records a thousand videos mm. A, mm. a damn day. I'm like pop. I'm like the belly to dime, bro. You dropping count hit after hit. But again, bro, I got. I have to link them. I have to wait for YouTube to process them before I can even touch them. So, yeah. they go up the day after. 
Day after. But yeah, but anyway, like I said, man, busy week this week. Everybody gonna we're gonna have more leaks and everything, man. Got the last of like I said, you know, uh not God of War, next gen. I beat God of War already, bro. You late, man. I, I declared that shit already. That shit that shit done. I see that one and done. I beat I just, God of War already. I wanna point I wanna point out too that God of War, which was a good game and had a whole bunch of gameplay, is not his game of the generation. It's the one without gameplay. Cause hey, this motherfucker man. don't play no game. Hey, listen, <laughs> no, put, no, no, no. Yo, you know what it is? I'm gonna be honest. With you. I've never, and I'm gonna say this again. Here's my disclaimer. I've never been that in mostly invested into a story of a game before, man. This is something totally new for me. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. And that goddamn game beautiful too. You know I like fast cars. I can't. Fat ass that if, I, if I catch you, if I catch you on stream with a box of Kleenex, it's on site. I just hey, let bro, you know. I, 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 from a man to man. You gotta hey, catch these hands just to reaffirm your man. It's on site. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey yo, he said he's like mad back to hit the pipe in the background. Hey. You my bro. <laughs> you my bro. If I, hey, yo. If I catch you on or see with some Kleenex. Hey, bro, I ain't lying, catching these hands on site. I had to cut the last chapter off, man, and everybody got to to start over again, man. But anyway, listen, thank you for rocking out. Let me get my sick ass to the hospital right quick. I'll be right back. God willing, in the creek don't rise. I'm out of here, man. Bang, bacon, bacon. This is. Oh, yeah. Oh.